Okay, right there, Nick. So, as we said, there's a finish line yeah. to your left of your body, okay? So, we are green in there. So, the, the green line there on the right-hand side, okay, that's the finish line. We want to get the sensation. This and this beat that, okay? Yeah. If the club head comes through too early, as on the case on the left-hand one, the club face is closing, and that's going to cause that hook or draw, mm -hmm. okay? So, as you come into impact here now, again... A lot of good things that said there. Good shoulder turn, good position at the top of the back swing. This was actually good here now, but that kind of right shoulder, kind of a bit... See, a bit, bit yeah, exactly, yeah. A bit over the top in there. As you come back in, now your hands kind of stop at this point. You now extend the club into kind of a release position. Here. So put that there again. Yeah. Okay, you extend the club into here now. At this point, the club's caught up. And now impact the next one there. Yeah. There your hands behind the golf ball, okay? Yeah. So you've scooped a bit, added a bit of loft, okay? With a lofty club, just goes a bit higher. With yeah. a less lofty club, big hook. Becomes a snap hook over time. Yeah. Okay, if the ball's then doing this, you then start swinging okay. to the right. And that's yeah. the problem. Yeah. You, you, exactly. If the path gets further right and the face is further left, yeah. the bigger that gap is, the more spin you're going to create. Yeah. Okay. As you come into impact there now, hands start even moved off, off your right leg there. Yeah. Club's gone out almost like the screen before your hands get there. Whereas this one, the feeling of that sort of that, keep the hands in front lead there. As you come in here now, there's impact. I get closer yeah. to the other way. Look at that line. Hang on, the way so you can see it. Better, yeah, that's, that's basically impact. The ball's blurring, okay? Yeah. You're coming in there, keeping the angle for longer, and then bang, okay? Yeah. Compare that to that impact position. Just look at, the, just look at your body there. Yeah, looks much better. Then. That's doink, doink. That's yeah. that way, you see? That's going to keep the club face squarer, and then you release through, okay? Now, these are kind of sort of like three-quarter kind of punchy follow-throughs. Yeah. You finish there. Now, in time, your arms will just sort of get used to that impact, just basically that they can fold over the yeah. shoulders. Yeah. If you look at a lot of the tall players with their arms, like a lot of the like, exactly. Soft, though, they, they, yeah. they get it, and they go, well, I don't need to do much more, to be fair. You get a bit uh, like easy, don't you? Exactly, yeah. The thing is, if you've got a good, strong club face, okay, which you have, okay, as you come back to goal, if you start using your hands too much and folding your hands over, yes, it can create a lot of power yeah. if you can time. Let's wait the ball a long way, but when you, your strength, as in distance, yeah. it soon becomes a weakness when you start yeah, losing control. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly, yeah. yeah. You look at some of these long driving guys, they've got some of their hand legs off, and they're ripping into the golf ball as much as they can. A good drill, there's two yeah, good only, drills, only, only get one ball, one ball get in one six ball is the fairway, yeah. exactly. They, they're trying to smash it 400 yards, one out of six in two, two and a half minutes they've got, and that's yeah, what they've got to try yeah. and do. Just smash them as far as they can. There's yeah. no there's no golf um, distance, relevance to their game, yeah. it's just how far can they smack it. I mean, they look at, I think 500 yards is a new sort of like bench on their own for, which could be done, I don't know. I mean, Joe Miller's about to set the 430s, 440s, and yeah. they're pushing it more and more and more, get the right conditions, you can get that far, okay? But for you, in terms of the impact position, you get that sensation, you're swinging into that that wall, that finish line. So what you can do then, from here, is make some swings where you kind of go bump, bump, yeah. just get that movement, actually, for the hands to kind of win the race back in the golf ball, and almost hit some sort of, like, three-quarter punch to sort of feel this kind of... Yeah. Cover. Yeah. What we don't want to be doing is throwing the club outside to try and... Yeah. Start the ball left. We start the ball left by just turning our lower half this way. But you played a lot of golf doing this with your lower half to try and send it to the right yeah. because you knew your club was going to be at left. It tended to overtake and flick a little bit. Once that club flicked and overtakes, you're just fighting a hook. And then you probably have to aim further right maybe, open the face at set up, swing out further right. And then if your shape of the golf ball is that dramatic, i.e. right to left that much, even the other way, left to right, yeah. how far right on someone's can you aim? Yeah. You sound that third on the button. Do you want to aim it in the middle of the trees on the Pendleton lanes? Of course you don't. <laughs> exactly. So you lay it on the tree line, and then where does it end up? On the fifth fairway. Yeah. Okay? If your shape of shot could be okay, I'll aim on the right-hand side or even the centre, and if I draw it 10 yards left of the fairway, that's fine. Yeah. It's when your shot is 40, 50-plus yard banana in. Yeah. It's tough to play golf that way, isn't it? Okay? So getting that sensation we're swinging through. The hands are going to win that race. This impact bag here, mate, is always it's just kept there. If you want to come in and have a whack and yeah. just batter it, if I'm not obviously using it, let's just come in and give it a smack yeah. as, as, as you want to do. Just get that feeling of coming in and getting that club face to be behind everything else. Once the club overtakes, that's the release of the power. That is that is perfect. <laughs> that is your shape of shot. Now, what club is that? 7-9? Yeah. And you've tapped that. Yeah, 146, 145, yeah? But look at the shape of shot. That, that for me, is the key thing. Look at the side spin. Yeah, the side spin's right down. 220. Yeah. Launch trajectory for a 7 18.1 is tall standard. That's yeah. lovely, to be fair. 
and the distance there, 145. Okay, so shots are shorter swing because you're swinging slower. Yeah. So you start cranking the speed back up again. You have the 155, 160, yeah. not doing a lot of call. Cool. Okay, mate? Yeah. Perfect, perfect. That's so good.